Yo, what's going on guys? Shake and Bake back today. I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how I'm earning all my MT. We're doing pretty solid right now. We have 222,000. I think that's a pretty good number. So I'm just gonna give you guys a breakdown of what I've been doing with the auction and selling cards and stuff like that. But this year, it just feels a lot better. I don't know, because of the better collection awards, the cards have a bit more value right now. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about right now is the value in certain cards on certain days of the week at even certain times. Now, a lot of people seem to think when I make this video, this is gonna completely ruin things or, I don't know, change them enough. Like, shoe prices did not just dramatically go up a ton. Like, they're still pretty cheap. Um, again, a lot of people, like, saw the video yesterday and they're like, oh, the shoe price is going through. No, they really didn't. <laughs> but, yeah, shoes are really common. They're gonna come in a lot of packs. But talking about this method today, and, I mean, I don't even want to call it a method, really. It's just being smart and me giving you my tips on what I've been doing. And it's just selling players at opportune times for what suits your needs. For me, I've already got a pretty good team. I've opened up some packs. So like, I don't need to keep all of these bronze and silver players in my collections unless I'm going for those collection awards, which eventually I'll be doing. But for now, it's too early on in the year. You literally cannot get pink diamond Kobe or pink diamond Wilt. Like you, you can't earn those. There's not enough players unlocked in the game like there just isn't there really isn't um there's a few people that i've seen that have spent like thousands of dollars already on the game and have like a million mt and they still don't have the pink diamond kobe they've got a couple of diamonds but to me i don't need to get those diamonds yet like i can wait and right now what i'm doing is building mt by being smart with it really haven't spent that much i've done a couple pack openings this year and that's a lot less in uh compared to past years man where we've opened up tons and tons of packs just because there's nothing too crazy in the packs right now. You guys have seen, we've pulled, you know, the emeralds. We've pulled pretty much all of the sapphires and the rubies. Like, I mean, those really aren't in packs yet. But besides those current guys, there's nothing except for the historic packs where they just dropped. And we pulled those. So, I mean, there's nothing else to really pull packs for. But now I do want to explain to you guys what I mean by the cards having value on the market. And how I've been selling them. And just some tips that you want to look for. For certain things to try and sell cards. If that's what you're going to be doing. I will say a few things really quickly that are different this year. One quick tip is that if you add guys to a collection. To try and get a collection reward. You can no longer sell those. That's completely different. A lot of people didn't know about that. It'll give you a pop up. And you can actually say like yes I want to do this. No I don't want to do this. If you click no. You can eventually go back and click yes. Like it's fine. You just got to back out and a couple things like that. But yeah. You can actually get the collection rewards now, which are pretty crazy cards, but it's not going to let you sell, you know, all those players like we used to do in the past, which was one of my methods for making MT a couple years ago. Yeah, they, they made sure that does not work anymore. But what you can do now is still reap the benefits of what we did years ago. Like, the reason why that worked so well is because people were trying to get the MT collection rewards. They were buying those cards from those collections. But now, people are still trying to get that collection reward, which is these diamond or sapphire cards. So they're still buying these cards for really kind of outrageous prices. Um, again, you can sell some silver players for 7,000 MT, bronze players for three, four, five thousand, 5,000, and really make an awesome profit on cards that you really wouldn't even know are worth that much. One of the key tips for this is to know what's out right now, what type of packs, and what people are going for. If right now you guys saw throwback packs are out, they're still actually out at this moment. That means those players that are in those packs are out in packs and in the market and they are flooding it. Man, there's tons of those hogs and tons of those historic heat players. So those players' values are going down. Obviously, they uh, had a ton. If you pull one of those in historic domination, boom, he sold for a ton. Whereas now, he probably doesn't because A, everybody's been opening up packs and now they're pretty common and they're all in the market. There's hundreds of these ML players where before there was only one to two. But because of that, people are trying to do those collections for the diamonds for those two teams. So now you've got an opportunity to say, hey, how can I turn this into a profit? The current day players actually go up on those teams. The prices are gonna skyrocket on those players. If they were low, they're gonna go up, up, up because everybody's gonna try and complete the collections and to complete the historic ones, you need the player actually from completing the regular team. So now guys are doing those and boom, you can sell your silvers, your bronzes for a nice profit if they weren't already going for a nice profit, which some of them were, but some of them weren't, man, which is crazy. Like, I really don't think Hawks players before these packs came out were going for 7,000 MT, like a, a silver player. That's crazy. But now, because of how it is and how it's set and how the market is, you guys can now sell those players. And then, once those actual packs go out, 
if you have some of the, you know, historic players, their value is going to go up because those players are no longer in packs. People are searching for it. There's less and less in the market. They're coming down. And basically, you guys can now get how the method and strategy is. You want to sell players at just opportunistic times. And that means that if you're going to open some packs and you get some dupes or you get some guys, you're not going to do the collection, wait to sell them. Sell them once the packs are gone in a couple weeks from now, man. That player might be worth a lot. And you guys saw that last year, if you noticed, when they had, I think, the Rookie of the Year set. At the beginning of the year, those uh, gold players went for nothing. But as the year moved on, people were trying to do Diamond Jordan. And if they didn't have any of those cards from early on in the year, they were buying them for like 10, 15, 25, 30,000 MT. And I have a feeling it's going to be the same way with some of these Hawks players. Because I don't know if they're going to... I mean, I don't think they're going to redrop this pack you know, next week. They're not going to do that. They're going to drop new teams. And we may not see these Hawks and heat players at least these specific ones for maybe a couple months who knows like you don't know how this works but you should use that to your advantage stock up on some of those cards if you see some of them for cheap you can even pick them up and then probably flip them in a few days or a couple months from now so the gist of this is just watching the market watching the price of cards and just using your brain it's really not that hard like but since i figured not everyone knows this and not everybody knows you know hey right now when the packs are out the value of those guys is going down every every couple of minutes and guys are undercutting and undercutting and undercutting like a good example of that the ruby kevin willis first day the packs came out was going for about 50k right now going for about 17k price is going down but when those packs are gone the price is gonna go right back up so, like, you literally could buy a couple of those right now and then probably sell them in two weeks for probably 30, 40K. That's a pretty good solid tip. I showed you guys hopefully some clips of, uh, I guess, just me selling cards in the market that were worth a ton, man. And we made a good profit again. We really haven't, uh, like, we really haven't opened a crazy amount of packs. I think I've opened, like, 100 bucks, 200 bucks worth. And, yeah, um, we have 200,000 MT. And we still have tons of players in my collection that I can sell. And I have some of the Heat and Historic players that when later in the year are uh the, the packs are gone next week or whatever at the end of the weekend whenever the packs are gone we can wait and those prices of them guys are going up another thing with this too this doesn't mean you have to buy packs to get these players you can play historic domination or play the my team blacktop mode where they have the board and if you get a silver player for one of those teams just know when to sell him so if it's you know a uh, a jazz player maybe the jazz really aren't going for a ton right now Wait till the Jazz set comes out. That Jazz current bronze, silver, whatever, he could be going for a little bit more and could be a uh, nice little chunk of change for you. But I hope you guys did enjoy this quick video. Just giving you some tips. A lot of people have been asking about this, and I feel like I've gotten a solid out of MT. This is probably like the most I feel like I've earned pretty easily, man. It's just about selling players at certain times throughout the year. I hope you guys get that point. It's not too confusing, but um, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy. Class is, uh, I guess, out of session. I don't know. I hope you, yeah. Peace. <laughs>